War changes people. Lives are devastated and lost, and families are torn apart. A sacrifice is rarely worth the price. My brothers had to decide between the cause of the Confederacy and the lives of their family. When I saw them with our mother and heard that they had become deserters, I couldn't believe it. But I knew why they did it. For the family. Let's go. Look, they've slaughtered Jackson's cattle. Slaves? Uh, Yanks, probably. <laughs> nice trick! When did you find time to practice? While you were getting old. <laughs> Very funny. Can you repeat that trick, smartass? Ooh, I wonder how you'll do with the Yankees. They hurt us, that's for damn sure. And here they are. <laughs> You're almost as good as me. He's running. Hmm. He'll be bringing back some friends. Son of a bitch. Poor Jackson. Come on, brother. We gotta hurry. You son of a bitch. Hey, you think our home was torched too? It's only a mile away. Come on. I think all that practice is stuck. Did you hear that? No, we don't have time. Help! That's Jackson. I ain't leaving him to burn. Watch out! All right, come on. Help! Pitt, hold on. We'll get you out. Take that bucket, Thomas. Mr. Jackson! Open up! Let me out! I can't open it! Move aside. What happened here, Mr. Jackson? These animals. They wanted to burn me alive. They killed all the cattle. Slaves? No, soldiers. They took over your place, too, and threw themselves a party. What do you mean, took over? What about our mother and William? I don't know what became of them, but there was a shootout. I heard it. Soldiers. Oh, my God. And we need to check these stables. This way. Ah, stupid animal. You almost joined the others. It's your lucky day, Cal. You put some weight on, brother. Come on, get up there. Thank you, Junior. Good 
shot. They got some good cover. Try through the roof. You sure you weren't aiming for the horse? Don't mention it. Right! You coming or what? I bet they keep the loot here. Let's see if maybe they have something that belongs to us. Jackson, you poor bastard. I don't like this. Gallon! Oh! Run for the field! We need to go around. Come on, this way. Shh. Fire at will. Doc. Stay here. Keep your trap shut. I don't like this, brother. Find them! 
Show yourself, soldier. I got something for you. You see him? Bluebellies want to smoke us out. That fire will push us toward their Gatling gun. They'll cut us down like cordwood. Oh, shit. Okay. Now, you see that tree? You climb it, and you shoot that son of a bitch from up high. Mama didn't like us climbing this tree. We won't tell her, Thomas. Okay. Climb the tree, and I'll try to keep him busy. Come on, you blind son of a bitch! Hey, I saw your sister last week. That girl doesn't know how to say no. That's right, you stupid son of a bitch. I got you in my sights. Bullseye. Was a lucky shot. <laughs> There's more coming. See you in hell, you son of a bitch. Thanks, brother. Justice. Let's get the horses. Good. Now let's go home. Shit ain't what I'm trying to hit. Roof's all shot to hell. Coward! 
Who are these assholes? Why are they still alive? On my command. We need more now. men! Oh, yeah. Not too good. From the back! Lock the door! You back off, or the old lady and the boy die! You hear me? Shit! Go to the front balcony. We'll catch them in the crossfire. We just want to take them and go. No one else needs to die here today. You can go to hell. I ain't gonna ask again. Well, come on then. Come and get them. You coming? Yeah! Who are you? Stay here, Ray. Let's head for the harbor, see if we can find some transportation. What are you doing here, Thomas? Why'd you two come back? Did you desert? Thomas? We didn't desert our family. And in this world, that's all that matters. Gotta sink that son bitch before it reaches shore. Cover me. We should bury Ma. We can't stay here for too long. You hear me, Ray? Ray? We'll rebuild it. After the war, we'll come back here, and this'll be our home again. The 
Looks like we're late to the party. All clear, sir. Goddamn macaws. Look at all these dead blue bellies. And we might have to give them medals for this. Right after we string them up. I take this as a personal affront. An insult to everything I stand for as a southerner and a gentleman. They violated a direct order. They deserted their unit because of men like them not doing their duty. Atlanta burned. Whether it's tomorrow or five years from tomorrow, those arrogant sons of bitches will hang. 